All right, you're still watching Ways Now. International Snake Bite Awareness Day is, um, that's is bad, is celebrated on September 19th each year to raise awareness about the global burden of snake bites and to advocate for improved prevention, treatment, and care. Snake bite um, envenomin is a neglected tropical disease that affects an estimated 5.4 million people worldwide each year, resulting in up to 138,000 deaths. Um, snake bites are most common in rural areas of low and middle income countries where access to timely and effective treatment is often limited. Hi, you see this snake matter, eh? Have you ever had a snake, a snake bite? God forbid it. Yeah, go My sister it. has been stung by a scorpion huh? and it was traumatizing. I've been stung by a scorpion. It was traumatizing. Like my mother wanted to go crazy. We quickly tied her hand. We caught some incisions, just bring her blood, blood, bad, bad mm. blood, and we rushed her to the hospital. It was really traumatizing when my older sister was beat by a um, scorpion. scorpion. You know, my mom ran a restaurant, so we used to cook with firewoods, like big, all those big, yeah, massive pots. Have, have so she went to there. fetch yeah. firewood to be able to make fire for whatever. And I think as she was putting it in the fire, mm -hmm. you know, the, the heat drove the, the scorpion out. out. You know, we made sure we killed the scorpion. But we took her to the hospital. She was fine. But it was really... I was literally scared because of things around venom and how it can just, you mm -hmm. know, stop your heart from working. But there's a guy I follow on Instagram. Omar, the way the guy is so deadly with deadly animals. I keep looking at him every day. I say, God, may you continue to live in Jesus. Because <laughs> I just feel like one day we'll just open his page and they'll say some of... The, one of these wild animals that is always um, dancing around with and, yeah. you know, he's, there's like nothing... The he's completely guy. scared. Is completely fearless. Mm. Snakes, so different things, so diff like he has all kinds of animals. I said, let me not wake up one day and open Instagram and then I see RIP <laughs> and it is the, one of these things I that has killed him. Some people have graces for that. Like there's this guy in South Africa too, he's like best friends with lions, he's playing with them and living in the same jungle with them. And he's saying the, the lions regard him as their best friend. Like, what, mm. how in the world? But snakes, I think, again, uh, especially with the raining season, mm -hmm. this is the time to be careful. Yeah. People that are living around, because my, my, my children told me some things I was quite scared about, snakes in their hostel, tiny ones and all of that. But it's quite scary. I've, we've only had snake in our house once, and it was in the compound, not out. And we just, the dog just repeatedly was barking. Mm -hmm. And by the time my dad went out and saw that it, oh, there was a black mamba, the, oh, that, that black one, Sha. Mm -hmm. So they killed the snake. And uh, outside of that, I've not had clothes shaved with snakes yeah. in the house. But, you know, I've heard of around. And you know, we are farmers. So every day, the local mm -hmm. our farmers are always killing one snake or the other. And they turn it to bushmeat. But yeah. I'm just saying that yeah. um, snakes, again, you can, a bit, you can control a bit where, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. then there are some plants you can plant yeah. around your houses yeah. that just keep yeah. snakes away. Actually, yeah. if Peter you leave... Peter does too. Oh, really? I didn't Peter know that. Yeah. Just keep it around that strategic point. Uh, snakes don't like the smell of it. I mm. love that from my grandma. Oh, mm. nice. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. All right, so... Uh, what's in the news today is around um, the recent developments of MOBAD. Um, as we all know, I think um, four states, if I'm correct, um, I hear Abiyakuta, um, Delta State, uh, which other state now? Um, some other states have gone on protest. And just this evening, Iabuju had planned a protest for Lagos, a peaceful protest in Lagos. But mm -hmm. she's just announced on Instagram that it's been put on hold, um, that... Um, because of the the, the, the opera roar that happened around these other areas that so she's just putting it on hold. She's been advised to put it on hold for a bit before, you know, they go. So I mean like literally I didn't even know. I thought I thought all four of us here, some of us even knew the guy. Honestly, I did not know. So I've heard one just one of his songs. You understand? Because sometimes when I hear it, because the, the tunes sound alike, alike to me, yeah. so I don't know who is singing what. So mm -hmm. most times I just categorize all of them as yeah. Mali, Nara Mali song, and I'm not a fan. Mm. Because I literally, so in fact, even now more than be ever before, mm. after this young boy's death, I now went online, I've been doing a lot of research, listening to the lyrics, and literally these people have been speaking about killing people, having sex, drugs, you know, like literally all the, all the wrong things you should be listening to. That's what is in the lyrics. So maybe that's why my system just repelled the lyrics in the first place. So mm -hmm. I never knew who he was 
until his demise, mm. right? Mm. And now I'm not going online and I'm seeing all sorts so of things. Much. The fact that he did multiple, uh, what's it called? Lives. Multiple Instagram lives, just like screaming out, saying that his life was being under threat and all of that. So it just gives me a bit of concern. Like, first of all, what's happening in the music industry, mm. right? Because again, this person that he, that, People are calling out the Naira Mali himself. You came from somebody. Mm -hmm. Somebody actually groomed you. So is it possible that, I mean, what exactly would this boy have done that would have warranted that it had to be the ultimate prize, which is death? Mm. That's the question I really need an answer to. Yesterday, I took the story about the police, you know, setting up a 13-man panel. Yeah. Um, I think about this afternoon, I heard stories around conclusions to go and take on um, to go and exhume his body for a yeah, corona inquest. Yeah, yeah. Femi Falana has requested for a corona inquest. The governor of Lagos State has yeah. come out finally and officially put out an official statement and also inviting the DSS to be part of the investigation. investigation. So, I mean, like, literally a lot of things are going on mm -hmm. um, around this young boy's death. But you know what really got me worried is the fact that um, a lot of people knew yeah. about these things. Like, so all of us right mm -hmm. here we can actually say okay we didn't know anything because we didn't we are not part of that circle mm -hmm. we don't understand the genre of music right mm -hmm. but a lot of people actually knew about the issues and the the cry outs and all of those things that he had all this while so how come you know i saw a post by ay this um, afternoon i actually put it on my story he was saying that it's still the same song that this guy sang uh, what's his name celebrate me now we are there alive uh, i look i love him patoranki mm. right? right like literally why do we have to wait um wait sorry for somebody's death before we now decide to say we want to now now start to say we are raising 15 because i i saw a post that oh they have raised 15 million for, for, for his son and for his wife you know like why do we have to wait for people to die do you understand because this there are some things that are completely avoidable mm. if this boy was was his life was under threat. Mm -hmm. Nobody thought about taking him to a safe house. Mm. Nobody thought about taking him to somewhere at least, you know, just like literally stay out of, you know, let us see how we can resolve this thing. And it's when you are in the clear, then mm. we can now, mm -hmm. nothing like that happened. Then even the video that, uh, what's her name? Um, Iabojo did this afternoon with the DJ. I watched a bit of it. So at some point when they started speaking Yoruba, I didn't really understand what they were saying. But that one, even that boy right now needs to be moved to a safe house because that boy's life is under threat. You know, so like I have, I, I don't know, for the past three days now, I've just been consumed with, and because, you know, with the Instagram algorithm, once you pick on one, yeah, so all I've been watching yeah. all sorts of things, so many audios around um, somebody saying that, you know, oh, he's in the mortuary right now, and he now goes, oh, okay, yes, that all, all stations have been settled. Like, what are the meaning of some of these things? I saw the lyrics of one of um, Neramali's songs saying that he has put a lot of dead bodies on the ground. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. these things are things that can, you should actually use to prosecute people. So now, where is the law enforcement agencies? Mm. Where are the sanctions? All these so-called NBC that they're saying they're sanctioning, yeah. sanctioning because you said something. Mm -hmm. what, who, are, who, is the census, um, who are the census board officials that allow these songs to thrive? Play. Yeah. You understand? We have a lot of millions of youth on the street and these are their role models. Yeah. Now imagine the amount of violence that is welling up on the inside of all these people because of, you know, music is powerful. Yeah. It's such a powerful tool that if you continue to ingest some of these kinds of lyrics, you become it. You know, so literally seeing all of this, I am worried. I'm worried because it seems like a generation is lost. Then it now gives me a, um, what's it called, more um, clarity as to why a police um, um, PR or whatever that I took the story yesterday will say that almost everybody in Shagamu are cultists. So this is, is actually very scary. Mm. But what are your thoughts quickly? Okay, so I would start from um, the from what AY said about, you know, I think a lot of people find it so easy, you know, to not be bothered when you cry out for help. And um, they only get involved when a person... I don't know, maybe that is something that's... Um, 
Or maybe it comes from a place of, you know what, I have so much I'm dealing with, I can't get involved in another person's Maybe, let, let's say, um, I, I don't know, that's the excuse in my head that maybe there's a lot of emotional effort it takes. But I have seen it time and time and time again. I, I personally, I always tell my friends, if you are in my circle, you need to love me loudly. That's very important. If you love me loudly when I die, I will wake up. I will, wake up I, will, I will come and meet you. Honestly. Allah, you will see me. Uh, you will see me. Honestly. This is not your dream. You will see me. <laughs> we need to. We need. See. And you see, it also accounts for why people just keep to themselves when they're going through issues. Mm. Because, you know, ordinarily, because if you have not said anything, the excuse would have been why didn't, you say why anything? didn't he say anything? Mm. But. Over, I mean, even I mean, as surprised as you are, I myself had never heard of this guy. And when this whole thing happened, I mean, and people said, I, I was like, ah, this guy was this popular. You guys have actually been watching on Instagram Live all the things that this guy has been saying, and nobody has said, let's do the usual Nigerian youth thing and say, tag police, cancel this, cancel that. What? What? So, what have you guys been listening? Was it entertainment? Mm. Did you not hear the, the, the fear, the tears? Because, I mean, if somebody is doing Instagram Live, first of all, he would have thought of it that this is my final hope. Mm. I, there's no way for me. I, I just need to let people know. Because there's and danger most of the, in that. Most of the Instagram Live is, is kept on shouting, if I die, if I Imagine. die, hold this person accountable. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, so, the people that were following him, what were they listening and he was to? doing that kind of Instagram Live, what did you do? And then everybody's posting, you want to do right, yeah, not doing uh, you want to do not that's, doing that's, eulogies that's, that's and all of that. Okay, so I feel like I would look at it from the angle that so for instance, if it was somebody like me, I don't feel I actually mm. did not know of his existence mm. up until this incident happened. Because mm. I don't do secular music, mm. you know. But um looking at it from a human angle, I think that Nigerians individually are already dealing with a lot, right? So there is this sense of selfishness in, ah, at least you, you have record label. At least you, you have food to eat. At least let me just deal with my own and stuff. So that's one. It doesn't mean that it is right. All right. And so in the case of uh, uh, Mobad and him coming to cry out, I feel like sometimes when people come out online to, to cry out, that the reason we don't pay as much attention is, is because maybe we feel like somehow they have people Hmm. Who will handle that? Hmm. You know, because I'll be like, if I want to talk now, who will hear my voice? Hmm. You know, but then I'll I be don't like, even that in people... that circle. So I would like, and my God, I... Here, I did not understand anything. I said even the lyrics. Yeah. Fancy. I didn't get any. Now, as person died. So now, you know, most of the videos you see online, you see the trans. Mm -hmm. the, the, um, the transcript of mm, the songs. Mm, mm, mm. So you're not able to tie it. Oh, is this what this person was saying? Yeah. But what about civil? I want to. What about civil societies? No, honestly, see, we, we, I, I, we, we can't, we can't claim ignorance. We're all complicit in this thing. Honest, that's what I would say. Because, the, the, the yeah, civil society, it's mm -hmm. not like we have, like, there's a structure for Labour Congress. There's a structure for the bar association, the medics or the, the medical association. Mm -hmm. But is there a structure? The the film world is we're only just starting up entertainment executive structure. The mm -hmm. music industry doesn't really have a structure like that, mm -hmm. right? And because of this thing of their celebrity done, people are usually in awe of them. They are like, ah, you you go for one show, you make five million. Your your issue is not is not a lot is not a lot right because the way the entertainment the music industry is structured is such that uh, we are talking inside the, mm. a, a, and the makeup room about how their kind of music is mostly surrounded by violence and yeah. this, this this sort of stuff they do. Um, I was going to say something. You know what? Let me come to Jennifer while you still <laughs> gather your thoughts. <laughs> Jennifer, quickly, then we will go on a break because this is really technically the conversation we're having. So there was something Sansa said which I agree that. Um, that because of probably the um, the guy's standards in the society in terms of his music career, that's why sometimes when people hear you cry out, they're like, I'm sure you have people that will help you. And even sometimes if you bring it back home to people that we know in our surroundings that are going through something, 
maybe the first day or two, you're concerned. Third day, fourth day, you're not bothered anymore. You're like, mm, I'm sure you have family members that mm. would that would help you out. But one thing that I've noticed with um, <clears throat> with us as humans is, yes, we can be very selfish. Two, I noticed that a lot of people who post about someone who is dead or who has been crying out are just doing it for clout and are just joining the bandwagon. And that's the part that upsets me because like you, you've all said, they knew, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a different thing if he actually did not do yeah, cry Instagram out live and, yeah. or cry out or something like that, right? I get that. It, that's different. Yeah. But he did. So I don't think there is any celebrity that would tell me they did not know. Mm. It was when I went on Twitter one day and I saw the news. I'm like, who is Mobad? Yeah. Who is this other person? Then I said, piecing two and two together. I asked my friend, oh, I heard something, something happened. Do you have the, the full mm. gist? Because it was have, very gruesome, right? They know what you have. Yeah. Yeah. They have it was, records. Yeah. Exactly. So the things I was hearing, it, it was just very abnormal to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, there are things that do happen in our society. Um, this is their circle. Right? Yeah. It, it, so you know what? It, it does. I, I agree with you. Let's go on a break, right? When we come back from the break, because we've, we've lost a lot of time, we'll just open our phone lines immediately so you can just join the conversation. Then we'll, we'll go into the conversation for today. Stay with us. We'll be right back.